That's well timed. Found the gap beautifully. So Bangladesh get off the mark with a boundary. That's off the bat. Nice way to get off the mark. Does strike a lot of boundaries going down on his knees. Good transfer of body weight. Cries of catch it. It's gone through Justin Kemp at a pretty rapid pace. It's a good looking strike. That's out the middle of the back, pushed down the ground. Poor running between the wickets. Well cut away. You seldom see Sean Pollock off a bit of width. And he's good in good batting tracks. He just gets put away. It's quite easy. The Javaruma Bellary. Too much time. It's a very good batting pitch. Very bow shot of a leg. Can't expect too much deviation. It gives the opportunity for the batsman to get into a good position. And it's a quick outfield. The shot aside that we're looking at, 58 meters. But there's coming ball for you. He's not afraid to charge the fast bowler. One bounce with a couple of bounces into the advertising hoardings. Mm, well, a long way down the track. Made his commitment early. Surprised Mackay and Tini didn't see him coming and being able to adjust his length. There's been no bounces. And there should have been, just to keep him back. Nicely played away on the leg side. It's the longer boundary. Goes and touches the rope for another four. But he has got it a uh, couple of sides of the wicket. That's a really nice shot. He hasn't tried to hit it too hard. Kept his head and eyes on the ball. That's close. Gone straight to the field and what a good catch that is. Graham Smith, the captain has done it. Andre Nell has got the breakthrough. It is well struck. Channel Nick Bowler has been in for a fair period on a good batting pitch. He's uh, picked up eight wickets in his last two games, really enjoying his time here in Guyana. And second ball, he gets greeted with this over the top of extra cover. Just a couple of bounces and uh, over the boundary. That is a shot of, of real class. It's, uh, he's picked the ball up early. Well done by the big man. That is such an outstanding shot. Kept his eye on the ball and one to refresh the throat. What a catch. Man, what a reactionary catch. That is superb after the break. Andre Nell has struck for the second time, and that is a terrific piece of work from the big man. May have been a chance to Boucher. That went through pretty quickly. Rushed the glove on the way, and full signal by umpire Billy Doctor. Cries of catch it, one big shot to many. In the end, Nell gets his man. Nell looking for the full strike delivery first up, but in the end, goes all the way. Looking for the offer, doesn't get it right. Ashrafan has got a high back lift, brings it down well in time. Also, a big gap available between the man and square leg and mid on. Goes on the pull back of a length and he's managed to beat Madon. That's a quality shot. He has found the gap. It's the first boundary for Sakibul Hassan. Created the width, it's not provided by the bowler. Getting right on top of the ball. Getting high on his toes to make sure he hits it into the ground. And not in the air because the two fielders there. Very good placement. Good handwork. It's 
taken. The second time, Graham Smith has latched onto one behind the backward point. The short ball doing the job here for Jacques Callas. It's a good shot. It's very straight. Pollock has work to do, and he won't be able to do anything but retrieve the ball from the boundary ropes. Good shot. 109 for four. Off the glove. Might go all the way. It has. Not convincing, and there haven't been enough bounces. Two now have uh, hit the gloves and gone over the keeper's head, and they could easily have just gone straight up in the air. That's always worth a gamble to bowl a short pitch delivery. Expecting it, didn't get it high enough. He's got a man back. He did the right thing, Callis. It just didn't get it up enough. Gave his man the opportunity to roll the wrist and keep it down. There's a man back at deep square leg, but you see this one. It only got just above waist high, so not quite high enough. Might give an indication. Quite a slow wicket, but two back, but not high enough. Could be two. Really should be two. Over the top. Chipped nicely. That's a good shot. So often they try and overhit the ball. He didn't on this occasion. He just popped it over the top. Indication of his talent again, just playing it with the angle as we said, mid off and mid on up. It doesn't matter, that went wide of mid on. Good timing and good placement, a feature of what this guy could possibly do. Nice and fine, and that uh, will make the rope. Now, wouldn't it come off? Is there a bit of bat in there? Billy Doctro says no, just leg. That would have been uh, one of those sixes that he loves to hit after the but doesn't connect it, but just look at how much is given into that shot. Oh, smack that. That's a long way back into the grandstand. Superb shot. A little man who likes to hit the big shots. We've been talking about his six hitting prowess, 27 sixes in the last year, he's already got nine so far. Beautiful pickup, just has the knack of uh, picking up the ball. And again, that's further, that's 20 rows back. A huge over for Bangladesh. Not a good one for Kent, 152 for four. Oh, that's fine. That should race away for four. Back it does. Desperate dive by Callis to no avail. It just shows the talent of the man, the range of shots that he possesses. We saw a massive hit over long gone, and this is just artistry. Waited for the ball, beautiful balance. Just also shows a relaxed mind when he's batting. There's no premeditation here. Just playing by instincts. He seems to have the full range of Tab Ahmed. Gone. What a shame from Bangladesh's point of view. He's picked up a wicket, uh, Makaya and Tini. The catch was a very good one in the deep. That's fine. And four. And Tini can't chase that down. He's quick, but uh, that was a well played. He adjusted Ashrafil. He just uh, he just worked it out. Yeah, they are instinctive players, both Aftab Ahmed and Mohamed Ashrafil. As I've said before, instinctively they can play all the shots in the book. 
So this is responded just by the length of the ball. Good eye, good balance. Bit of work to do. Very well done in the deep. It's a beauty. A beautiful field as well. Oh, there's a real mix up, yeah. He's got a go. Absolutely ball watching. It had to happen eventually, and he did the right thing, sacrificing himself, but it was a brilliant piece of fielding. But it Straight down the ground, doesn't get better. He's a man at long on, but he had no chance whatsoever. Superb way to reach a half century. And a it's cheeky, very cheeky. Not the easiest shot to play, but he's played it effectively. Consecutive boundaries. Shuffle. Have to have a good eye to do that. Top edge and that could hit you straight on the chin. <laughs> Might get another boundary. Good commitment in the deep, can't prevent the boundary. Again, Makai and Tini on a good length. Plenty of room there to swing the arm so that he can get a good piece of the uh, willow on it. And he does just that. Big over. He's belted that much needed boundary this time from the bat of Mortaza. Could be more runs. Heavy be a boundary. Much to the delight of the Bangladeshis. That's a biggie. Right from the middle of the bat. And it's gone the distance as well. Mashrafi Mortaza has got some skills. He's showing it today. Again, missing Makai Antini on a good length. Able to get underneath it, and at his pace, it'll just help the ball go all the way. And South Africa just starting to struggle a little bit here. Pressure being applied. Another boundary, magnificent batting this from the lower order. Little cameo, this is from uh, Mortaza. Just strike the ball really well. Tini again, good length, disappear. 221 for six. 250's on. Another boundary, this is a stunning shot. Split some splendid ones. This could be the best. It's a beauty, using the pace, just sliding it off off the middle of the bat. It's really raced away. Nicely done. A lot of batsmen around the world would love to be able to play it like that. It's a beauty. Oh, truly amazing innings. Could be one of his best. Premeditated, he knows he's doing it. The bouncer's uh, called for. Again, just missing a little bit on the high side. If he got Yorker length, he would have hit the stumps. But if it's a full toss, it's glided off the bat. Molden knocked him over. Can't get a better Yorker than that. Andre Nell has reacted well under pressure. He's perfected it. Not very often you have a 100% record. Every time he's tried to play this shot, he's got a boundary. Very predictable. He's played it straight off the middle that time. <laughs> That's a real classical beauty. Doesn't try and overhit it. Just keeps the face of the bat going through the hitting area. That means he's in full control. He knows where he wants to hit it. Picked out his spot and hit it straight there, off the middle. Very good batting. There is fine leg, and he's taken it. Langerfeld, the catcher, and Pfeiffer for Andre Nell. Another good delivery. We'll pick up a single though. His first run in World Cup. 
poor fella. He's had two knocks, and they've been both very unsuccessful. Very good end from Andre Nell. Just three runs of the over. 50 overs bowl, 251 for eight. Great shot. That is the area he likes it. <laughs> Terrific shot. <laughs> Hold on, he tried to be a bit clever there. It's the second time he tried it, Graham Smith. And it was just too straight and Razzle has outthought him. And the skipper is on his way back early on. Created that shot, A.B. De Villiers. <laughs> The big drive of Jacques Callis, square on the offside. Who's Abdul Razak's left arm spin, nicely clipped away. Initial intention was to charge the bowler. Adjustment was extremely good. And great commitment in the deep. Has to pull the fielder. Like the running four. He's found the gap. It's another lovely shot from Jacques Callis. He's gone on the leg side. Great deal of authority in that shot. He's gone for four. That's where he's given himself room, but uh, not enough room. And uh, the ball not coming onto the bat. Jack Callas plays a little too early, lobs it to mid on. A huge wicket for Bangladesh. Got in. Frustration crept in. This is wonderful stuff from Bangladesh. Oh. Now Bangladesh are absolutely convinced that they've got their man. Now Bangladesh are in charge. That what more knows it. They're in the box seat. Mark Boucher has wielded the long handle, sailing over the fielder, once again into the stands comfortably. Oh, this could be straight down the throat of the fielder, it is Sayyid Russell, the catcher. Oh, another one. Yes, it is. Good low return catch from Sakhi Bulatan. Here he goes again, and he's misfielded again. And it's gone for four, so I'm not sure. Hi, has it got enough? Yes, it's got enough. Could be short. Oh, he could be short of his ground, is he? Oh, Bangladesh are unconfident. It's a bullseye. Well, Tommy Mikbal doesn't think it's out. I think it's a lot closer than that. At some stage, Sean Paul looks bad, bounce off the ground. Let's take a look, it's going to be close, and I think it's very, very tight. It's one frame and it's gone. This has to be a magnificent piece of fielding by the young 18-year-old, Tamir Mekbal, who doesn't think it's out. Be very delighted and surprised when he sees the umpire's decision. That's out. Straight back to Rafi. The veteran has taken a very good court and bowled, and Andre now has gifted another one to Bangladesh. Now this is a good shout, and uh, the finger goes up. It's a cracking shot, a big full toss, and it's been dispatched for a big six over long on. What a way to get to his 50. Four wides. It's getting a little right at the Bangladeshis, but uh, they've got their match in their grasp now. Uh, yes, he's managed to get there. Murtaza takes the catch. And it's all over for South Africa. It's time for Bangladesh to have that moment. The second big moment in this World Cup. First game against India, this time against... Well, the number one team in the world as per the ICC rankings. So Bangladesh win by 67 runs. South Africa collapsed 184 all out.